Imagine a time when the sky was a silent frontier, untouched by the roar of engines and the elegance of modern aircraft. The story of passenger airplanes begins more than a century ago, with humble beginnings that would eventually transform how humanity connects across continents. In 1919, aviation pioneers laid the foundation for commercial air travel, introducing the first passenger flights using converted military bombers and rudimentary aircraft. These early machines were noisy, uncomfortable, and unreliable, but they captured the imagination of the world. By the early 1930s, innovation took its first giant leap forward with the introduction of the Boeing 247. Sleek and advanced for its time, the Boeing 247 featured an all-metal monoplane design with retractable landing gear, twin engines, and a streamlined fuselage that reduced drag. This aircraft set a new standard, carrying up to 10 passengers at speeds that were revolutionary. Its smooth, aerodynamic exterior signaled a departure from the boxy, fabric-covered biplanes of the previous decade. Air travel was becoming faster, safer, and more visually modern. Soon after, the Douglas DC-3 arrived in 1935 and transformed the industry forever. With its smooth, curving lines, radial engines, and distinctive tail fin, the DC-3 wasn't just a plane, it was a symbol of modernity. Its exterior design prioritized efficiency and balance, allowing airlines to offer more reliable routes and ushering in the golden age of propeller-driven flight. Its silhouette is instantly recognizable even today, with a rounded nose, low-mounted wings, and twin engines that made it both beautiful and practical. As the 1940s and 1950s arrived, technological advancements accelerated rapidly. Jet propulsion was developed during World War II and soon found its way into commercial aviation. The de Havilland Comet, introduced in 1952, became the world's first commercial jet airliner. Its exterior was revolutionary. A clean, swept-wing design with four jet engines embedded in the wings, smooth aluminum skin, and a pressurized cabin that allowed high-altitude cruising. Although early structural problems plagued the Comet, its futuristic exterior design paved the way for all jetliners to come. Boeing seized the opportunity in 1958 with the legendary Boeing 707. This aircraft marked the true beginning of the jet age. The 707's sleek fuselage, swept back wings, and four powerful engines mounted under the wings became the defining look of modern passenger aircraft. Airports around the world had to be redesigned to accommodate its size and speed. From the outside, the 707 represented power and elegance, a gleaming silver body slicing through the sky at unprecedented speeds. The 1960s saw fierce competition and breathtaking innovation. The Douglas DC-8 mirrored Boeing's approach with its own long, clean lines and swept wings. Meanwhile, Boeing continued refining its exterior designs to improve performance, fuel efficiency, and passenger capacity. In 1969, the world witnessed a game-changer, the Boeing 747, famously known as the Queen of the Skies. With its distinctive hump-backed upper deck, the 747's exterior became one of the most iconic in aviation history. Its wide body design and massive wingspan symbolized the globalization of air travel. Suddenly, hundreds of passengers could cross oceans in comfort, and airports welcomed a new era of jumbo jets. On the other side of the Atlantic, European manufacturers sought to make their mark. The Airbus A300, introduced in the early 1970s, showcased a clean, modern European approach to exterior design. With its wide-body twin-engine configuration, Airbus prioritized efficiency and aerodynamics. This design language would evolve into the highly recognizable Airbus. Look, smooth, slightly rounded noses, elegant winglets, and balanced proportions that emphasize fuel savings and reduced drag. The 1970s also brought something entirely new, the age of supersonic passenger flight. The Concorde, jointly developed by Britain and France, was unlike anything else in the sky. Its sleek, slender fuselage, delta wings, and pointed droop nose made it look like a creature from the future. Capable of flying at twice the speed of sound, Concorde's exterior was designed to slice through the atmosphere with minimal resistance. It wasn't just transportation, it was a symbol of technological ambition and luxury. Meanwhile, the United States developed its own supersonic prototype, the Boeing 2707, 
which never entered service but influenced design thinking for decades. Exterior forms were no longer just about function, they became expressions of national pride, engineering prowess, and futuristic vision. As the 1980s and 1990s unfolded, Airbus and Boeing continued to refine their designs. Boeing introduced the 767 and 777, featuring longer, more aerodynamic fuselages, efficient winglets, and powerful turbofan engines housed in smooth nacellas. Airbus countered with the A320 family, which introduced a new era of digital fly-by-wire technology wrapped in a sleek, modern exterior. The A320's clean nose, slightly curved winglets, and efficient tail configuration made it a bestseller and shaped the look of narrow-body aircraft for decades. During these years, Air Force One, the U.S. presidential aircraft, also became a cultural icon. The Boeing VC-137, and later the VC-25A based on the Boeing 747-200, carried the President of the United States in a highly customized, symbolically powerful aircraft. Its exterior, with the striking blue and white livery in bold, United States of America, lettering, became an instantly recognizable image of power and prestige. In the early 2000s, the world witnessed a shift toward efficiency and environmental consciousness. Boeing unveiled the 787 Dreamliner, featuring a revolutionary exterior made primarily from carbon fiber composites. Its smooth, seamless surfaces, raked wingtips, and graceful nose shape improved aerodynamics and reduced fuel burn. The Dreamliner's exterior introduced a softer, more organic look to aircraft design, with elegant curves replacing hard angles. Airbus responded with the A350XWB, another composite wide body with a distinctive exterior signature, curved wingtips, a streamlined fuselage, and a cockpit with a sunglass visor appearance. This aircraft pushed aerodynamic efficiency to new levels, setting the stage for the next generation of environmentally conscious aviation. The Airbus A380, meanwhile, marked the peak of size and capacity. With its double-deck fuselage, four massive engines, and imposing presence, the A380 exterior represented ambition on a grand scale. Though its size made it instantly iconic, changing market dynamics eventually limited its production. By the 2020s, the focus shifted to sustainability and innovation. New models from Boeing, Airbus, and emerging companies introduced winglets shaped like feathers, blended wing body concepts, and even electric hybrid propulsion. Aircraft exteriors became smoother, lighter, and more efficient than ever before, with special coatings to reduce drag and innovative wing shapes that adapt mid-flight to save fuel. Supersonic Dreams returned with companies developing next-generation passenger jets designed to fly faster than sound without the deafening sonic booms. Their exteriors feature long, slender bodies, sharp nose cones, and innovative engine placements designed to minimize noise. These futuristic aircraft are reviving the glamour of Concorde but with modern materials and efficiency. Looking ahead to 2030, concepts are already being tested that could reshape the skies entirely. Imagine aircraft with blended wing bodies that resemble flying wings more than traditional tube and wing designs. These futuristic exteriors promise reduced drag, massive fuel savings, and larger interior spaces. Some designs feature engines embedded within the body, distributed electric propulsion, and even solar assist technology to enhance efficiency. The sky of 2030 will likely be filled with a mix of ultra-efficient subsonic airliners, supersonic business jets, and environmentally optimized flying wing designs that barely resemble today's planes. Even Air Force One is set to evolve. A new VC-25B is under development, based on the Boeing 747-8, featuring advanced defensive systems and a refreshed exterior. The classic blue and white livery remains, but the airframe is larger, more aerodynamic, and more efficient than its predecessor. Its presence in the sky continues to symbolize both continuity and technological evolution. Throughout this century-long journey, the exterior design of passenger aircraft tells a powerful story, not just of engineering, but of human ambition. From the modest, metal-skinned Boeing 247 to the composite-bodied Dreamliners and futuristic supersonic jets of the 2020s, every curve, wing, and engine placement represents decades of innovation. These machines have gone from being noisy novelties to sleek global connectors that define modern life. As we stand in 2025, 
Looking back at more than a century of evolution, it's clear that passenger aircraft are not just modes of transport, they are reflections of their era's dreams, technology, and priorities. Their exteriors mirror the changing face of humanity itself. From exploration to speed, from luxury to efficiency, and now from performance to sustainability. And as we look toward 2030 and beyond, the sky is once again becoming a frontier of bold experimentation. Supersonic and even hypersonic concepts are taking shape. Electric and hydrogen-powered designs are emerging. New materials are changing how planes look and perform. The age-old silhouette of a tube with wings may give way to something entirely new. But no matter how radical these designs become, one thing will remain constant. Humanity's desire to soar higher, faster, and more beautifully through the skies. The evolution of passenger aircraft is far from over. In fact, the next chapter might be the most transformative yet. From Boeing 247 to Airbus, from supersonics to Air Force One, the journey of exterior design is a testament to human imagination and relentless progress. The skies of the future are waiting, and their shapes are already being drawn.